Hello, welcome to my crib. So it's currently Monday and I have practice today and some meetings and you'll follow me around first and you'll get my bag. And we'll show the apartment more later, but I gotta go to practice right now. So, let's do that. Yeah, what, what time is it right now? I think it's like 7.30ish. I obviously have to get my scooter. I love my scooter. And I keep it on the balcony. The balcony acts as our little like garage, but because Kiki puts her scooter out there too. So we don't want it inside messing up all the floor and furniture, even though we ride it around everywhere. But yeah, what else? Probably work out later, you know, get the extra work in. Practice will be good. This is our last week of eight hour weeks. So season's right around the corner. very tiring, you know. I went to bed at like 11.30. But yeah, it's gonna be a great day. I have my little set on. Let's go. Oh, oh my gosh, how did you get there? Mo Austin Basketball Center, best place ever. Oh, there's Jam. Are you gonna open it for us? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, sometimes you don't always need to use the finger pry if you get lucky. There's Jam. Hola. Hey, Jonathan. It's my day in the life. Do you want to say hi? What up, y'all? How you doing? You good? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what was that? <laughs> we'll go check in for breakfast. We have to be here. It actually feels like way later because it's like 7.44. We have to be here at 8, so obviously we're early. Hi, Ricky. Hi, Dad. Am I the first one? Do you want to say hi? <laughs> Oh. Are you in the house? Yeah. Okay. So we'll wait, but for now I'm waiting. I'll go change and I'll come back out because I'll be dressed in my uniform. Okay, I'll see you guys. I've changed. This is the practice uniform. Um, we got a fit on. It's from Jordan. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. Jordan. Um, yeah. Really? Yeah. What's a, what's a typical morning breakfast for Gabs? This. When I have practice. But like if I'm home, I'll make like egg sandwich or something like that. But acai bowl is always. I always put stuff on it. Um, just gonna wait on peanut butter and bananas to dress my acai bowls. What do, you, what do you put on your acai bowls? So I put granola, honey, peanut butter, banana, and strawberries. If there's banana or strawberries, if there's not, I use at least one. And if there's not either, I'll just eat it like this. But we do have stuff, so I'm gonna put this away. And you see all the nice acai bowls right here, so. Is it for like the team? For the team, for the squad. Like, and men's basketball, like, can eat them too. They usually go for the smoothies, though. Let's come out to our games because why not? What else are you going to be doing? Especially if you go to school at UCLA, like, just come. Like, it's not that hard. On campus at Poly Pavilion. Hi, Hi. This is Gabs. Day in the life. Gabs, congratulations. <laughs> Yay. Here. So this is it. I've literally been here for 10 minutes. Usually like it takes me like, I change in, like three minutes. In the morning I go really fast cause I'm not trying to be here longer than I need to. You know what I'm saying? I like, try, try to be productive. Like I try to get as most as much sleep as I can. Yeah, do you have a comment if you want M day in the life? Mm -hmm. Huh? They have to comment if they want M's day in the life. Oh yeah, comment if you want mine. Yeah, but if you don't comment then. No. You're fake. But yeah, now we have 30 minutes till film starts. Film. Oh, mindset Monday. We didn't have to get here 30 minutes early. That's why no one's here. 
So we're trying to be productive with our sleep. And I. Hi, Koshannon. Hi. Hi. Koshannon's opening the door for me because. Hands are full? Yes. Maybe if I can get in. And this is where I sit with M. Good morning, Bruins. Good morning, and we're gonna eat our acai and chat and not and just have company. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Okay, we just finished practice. We got better today. Did you? If not, go do something. Go outside. Go read a book. Train your mind or your body or both. But right now, we just finished practice. I'm doing an interview for Sports Illustrated. And no, this mic is not connected with this. It's connected to a different camera. But I'm going to pretend because it looks cool. And then we're going to go eat. Oh, no. I'm going to get extra work in because I'm trying to get better. UCLA, number one school in the nation. What do you know about it? And O2 got that work today. What? No, it's been closer together. Oh, are you watching the first movie? You say like it's Sports Illustrated? And we're on the UCLA basketball team. Alright, you already know what it is. We out here just finished that extra work. Now I'm starving. It's currently 12.32. And now we're going to eat on our, the Borenka family patio. We love our donors. He's getting my play water though. Oh guys, that is way too much. Yeah. Well, I guess it's gonna gotta be accurate. Here's my plate. I usually ask Daniela, our dietitian, what's good, like if my plate's good enough. Um, but she's not out here right now, so. You got three potatoes. And why are you judging me? <laughs> Cody loves to judge everything I do, I feel like. And, you know, what you have to do, you just have to ignore it, you know. I know about what? The lemonade. Isn't it fire? Fire. Yummy. Fire. Liquid. And me Juice. and Coach T have our meeting later today. So. Oh, yeah, our first meeting. Our first meeting. I'm going to be hard on it. Oh. Never, oh. never working hard. No, just kidding. Uh -oh. yeah. How's it? <laughs> Amazing. TTYL. Hey, you guys say what's up to the Gabs in and live. It's good, gang. We have another guest right oh, here got... saying hi. What up, man? You feel me? Baz in the building. Baz in the building. <laughs> <laughs> say hi. What do you have to say to the people? Hello. How do you say hello in Serbian? Not, uh, no. Ciao. Ciao. So that's boring. How are you in Serbian? Kako si. Kako si. How do you say how are you in Slovenian? Kako si. It's close. It's different. Oh, no, it's the same. Wait, what's the difference? He you said know, it with a different accent. You say kakusi. Yeah. You say kakusi. Ah, and then we have Jack right here. Um, how do you say your name in English? He doesn't say it. Young <laughs> Fude. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go shower and I'll see you at my apartment. And we're back at my apartment. Come in. And we're gonna give you an apartment tour of my lovely apartment that I just moved into. So first, we have a little hallway. We just walked in the front door. You already know what I'm saying. This is a little DIY project type vibe. We got this from Amazon, screwed it in for our keys. How convenient. Okay, we have a mirror. Perfect to make sure you look good before you leave the house. Okay, like I said, we just kind of moved in. Like, okay. Like, <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna get a table, okay? And it usually has a tablecloth on it, but it's getting washed. Okay, well, and we also have a disco ball. Because there was a hook and we have a skylight. That's why we get great light. Because there's currently no light on right now. Except that one over there, but that doesn't count. So we have a disco ball. It's hella cheap from Amazon. It's like already breaking low key, but it's fun. Then we have the kitchen. Tight vibes, you already know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, I love having a kitchen. Upgrades is huge compared to the dorms. I have the living room right here. We got keepsters, you already know what I'm saying. And we got our couch, coffee table, TV. And people might be like, why do you always have three scooters in here? And I tell them, because it's O2s. So we also have like this cute little like blanket situation, basket, O2 scooters blocking it. Um, usually they're out there, but like I'm charging my scooter right now. And we're gonna get patio furniture, but 
Let me know if you guys want a part two because maybe it will be more furnished. Let me know in the comments. Okay, then we have this boom box, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, yeah, living room. Now, let's go to my room. Psych, this is not my room. This is the bathroom first. You already know what I'm saying. Okay, so this is my bathroom. Okay, look how cute the mirror is. Cold mirror. That mirror used to be this mirror. But I bought this mirror and I put it there. So it's cute. And this is like the bathroom part. Nothing special. Now for my actual room. Do not judge. Again, if you want a part two, my room will probably be done. But again, it's been a long process. My mattress, long story short, fell outside the back of my truck onto the freeway. And a semi truck ran over. And I was sleeping on an air mattress for it air mattress for a little bit and now I have a real mattress except it's on the floor okay it's on the floor and literally we're filming this but my bed frame literally comes in like this week okay so yeah but this part's cute cute little perfume section have my like little technology on my suitcases because I don't have room to put it but this dresser is super cute this drawer is full of UCLA shirts so you gotta love that. Go Bruins, obviously. Yeah, so my bed's nice. But again, it gets good light. The high ceilings are great. I have a TV too. It needs to be put up. It's just a mess, okay? So I have my nice bedside table of all my random <laughs> stuff. And there's me and my brother right there. We have a mirror, which is good because I love looking at myself. Yeah, it's a vibe out here. What's up there? See, if you have any ideas of what to put up there, let me know, okay? And I'm not gonna put shoes or my suitcases. But yeah, that's my room. It's a vibe. Kiki's here. Hi guys, again. I'm just eating my nails. <laughs> you guys have to leave a comment if, if you wanna see Kiki day in the life. Yeah, because you can't see my room. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, you guys, uh, close the door. <laughs> close the door. They can't see it. No sneak peeks. <laughs> Let me just do a little warm up. Hey, you already know what it is. 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 First try. You already know what the deal is. First try. You already know what the deal is. First try. First try. Keep <laughs> going, keep going. First try. First try. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Yeah, so, and we also have a lot of games. Look over here. Um, you know, some cards <laughs> and stuff. We also have chess. Are you good at chess? Is the Pope Catholic? Yeah. Of course I'm good at it. Let's run it. <laughs> That's so funny. You trying to run it? Yeah, let's run All it. Alright, let's bet. Let's go. Five. Four. I won. Uh, what? We're on the scooters. Yeah, guys. Kiki's. We're currently on the worst road at UCLA. <laughs> Most dangerous road ever. Cars parked on both sides. So thin. I hate driving this road. Ooh. What's a good quote you have? I think something is good to understand is that like the best ability is availability. <laughs> just being like available for your team is just super important. Um, you know, I just learned that one. Nice, yeah. nice. How's the college NIL deal? NIL here in college, like super lucky to be here at UCLA. Oh, bet, truck. Super lucky to be here at UCLA, especially in LA. Like it's really like the mecca for like the influencer space. This is why I put my name tag there. No one can sit there. My feet. Sorry. Sorry, I just had to say hi to all my friends in there. Where, where are we going now? The club. Club rush? Is that what it is? Yeah. Maybe I'll join a club. Club fair? Club fair? Um, I know Otu's in... Or he was thinking about joining Filipino club, but he, he's not going to. And our coach's offices are right up there. Got my meeting in um, 20 minutes. Dude, I'm actually hot right now. Why am I wearing a jacket? See, Kiki, know you know, that. everyone knows Kiki Rice out here. <laughs> yeah, you can say hi. Is this like you have a YouTube channel? Okay, what I was saying is that 
It's about to get loud, but you know, Kiki has a lot of fans out here, and they're just like, "This Kiki." No. <laughs> okay, I love that I'm like in tune with like being a student here at UCLA. That was one of my goals for this year, like be a student athlete, like get involved more. Hey! Yeah. Player interest form. Let's see the Tryouts next week. Oh, okay. The DMV. D M. I'm gonna perform right now. Hardly one of I looked at it with fear. It's about time. Go! Already, you already know what it is. It's currently 4.03. My meeting was at 3, but we started at 3.06. I was with Coach T watching the film. Got better today, but yeah, these are the offices. No, this is not the real Coach Corey. This is probably her and I couldn't even tell you because I don't know. Here at UCLA, we have the young guns. Bah! You know what I'm saying? Put that on top yeah, as we should. And this was the whole squad last year. Oh, I did not realize I was right here. Oh my god. Gina, I miss her. Okay. I have some people that actually wanted to ask you some questions. Really? Mm hmm. Okay, bet. Um, so, Kenny Chow says, How does it feel to represent the Mexican community when you play? I think it feels amazing that I can um, represent something larger than myself, um, you know, to really understand that um, I'm playing not only for myself, not only for my school, not only for my family, not only for the 805, but, you know, for all the Mexican people out there, especially young Mexican girls, like, that I could be an inspiration to them is really cool. So, did you ever play for, like, the national team? Um. No, I never did, but maybe one day I'll either play for Team USA or Team Mexico. But right now, I'm focused on college right now. So I know you're representing the Mexican community, so like, and there's not a lot of you, so it's like, is there only one of you in <laughs> college basketball? What's your favorite thing about being D1? I have a Mmm. Great question. My favorite? Actually, give me three. Three? <laughs> Well, I would have to say feeling the love from all the fans. <laughs> no, I would say like, no, honestly, just being having like your education and like your school paid for, things like that is really a blessing, honestly. Just being a part of a team and like a big group of people that like support you all the time, no matter what, has been really amazing. And all the opportunities. You ever, when you're hooping in like, like with all those people and stuff, you ever get nervous hooping? Um. Like what's the, what's the biggest crowd you've been in? <laughs> I mean, the biggest crowd I've like played in front of or like shot in front of would have to be at, um, the Pac-12 tournament game, um, UCLA men's basketball versus um, Arizona <laughs> men's basketball. Men, I say that because they called me out. That's the biggest crowd I've ever played in front of. Um, but no, this is all jokes. But no, this has actually happened. <laughs> they called me out to like shoot like a. Sorry, I keep shaking this. They a layup, free throw, three pointer, half oh. court in the freaking T-Mobile arena was packed. Did you make it all? No, I didn't make the half court. Uh. The biggest crowd I probably played against was in like South Carolina. It was packed. Um, but I don't. I get nervous for games. Like no matter how many people are there, I don't really think about like who's watching or how many people it is. It just makes it more fun, especially when it's loud. I can't imagine playing in, in front of hella people. Like most I played again in front of was like. 20 live viewers. <laughs> if you weren't playing basketball, what would you be doing? Playing softball for sure. Oh yeah, because you used to play, huh? Mm-hmm. In high school? Yeah, I played in high school. Um, what, what? For four years. What position were you? I'm a utility player. Softball as a um, shortstop. I moved to outfield mm -hmm. for two years and then my senior year, I went to third base. I just did whatever the team needed from me, you know. I was that person that they could turn to. Were you nice? I was nice. No, <laughs> him. No, I was good. Now, I have to ask this question because everyone always asks this. It's always like, every time I'm like with Gabs, they're like, oh, can you answer this? Yeah, oh, okay. How does it feel to lose to number one South Carolina in the Sweet 16? 
Yeah, um, it sucked. Yeah, I was actually watching that game live. Yeah, I was there. Oh, uh, playing actually. Now that game was actually really tough. I mean, they're a good team. Got to give credit to them. It was my first March Madness. Um, really cool experience. A lot of fun. Um, yeah. I mean, it it was not good, but. We have a new year. It's a new season. Yeah, first year, Sweet 16. Exactly. It's so not it's bad, like, um, but we have we have high expectations this season, and it's going to be fun. Facts. I need to see you at the games. Yeah, y'all, you guys got to pull up. Last question. When you make it to the league, what person are you most excited to play against? Mm, LeBron. LeBron. Mm -hmm. parody, this parody, is like parody. literally a parody, kind of, of Kenny Chow's Day in the Life of Jaime Hawkins Jr. Uh Nate, you got any questions or you just want to eat your food? I got a question. So when you make it to the league, what's one person like that you're excited to like match up against? LeBron. I feel like that's everyone's answer, but that's mine too. Oh, two should put it in the description. Yep, I'm gonna watch tag it because it's so funny. Like, no, it's not funny. Like, we're being funny because we're <laughs> imitating them. So, yeah, we wanted to do it because we got inspired. So, shout out Kenny Chow. And uh, yep, yeah. There it is, guys. Yeah, questions with Gabs. Oh wait, wait. Oh, eat and ask. <laughs> Part two of eat and ask. Y'all, this has been another segment of eat and ask. Eat with ass. Gabs. Mm -hmm. This is part two, actually. If you guys mm -hmm. haven't seen the first one, you guys go go watch it. Yeah. But I mean, down below because we might do a part two. We'll do a two on two. Me and Gabs versus Kenny and I may. <laughs> we'll win. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching and coming along with me for my day. This was just like average Monday day for me and what I do. So. We're just gonna go get our scooters, head back. I don't really know what's planned for the rest of the day, but subscribe to O2's channel and comment below if you wanna see a part two, because maybe we'll do it. And yeah, thanks for watching. Also come to our games at Poly Pavilion in Westwood. You won't miss, you, oh wait. Also come to our games at Poly Pavilion because we wanna see you there. Okay, bye.